Well, today we're on Island Timberlands uh, lands on Cortez Island. We're by an old growth Douglas fir here, centuries years old, and we're concerned about the sensitive ecosystems and the remnant uh, old growth forests and other uh, endangered forests on Vancouver Island that are threatened by, by logging. We're here uh, to support the uh, island residents here uh, by documenting with professional photography uh, the old growth forests and the sensitive ecosystems uh, on these Island Timberlands lands. Uh, there's an active campaign underway. We're very impressed at the tenacity of the people on Cortez Island uh, for sustainable forestry. Well on Salt Spring Island uh, around the year 2000 there was a massive uh, local movement supported by people throughout British Columbia to ensure that the lands that were being logged by a company at the time, Texada Land Corporation, uh, were uh, purchased instead of logged. And so there were protests there, there were petitions, there were letters and ultimately they were able to create enough pressure that the company agreed to sell the lands at uh, market value, not uh, inflated value, and that they uh, were able to get the, get the provincial government and other levels of government to put forward millions of dollars uh, to purchase the lands, as well as raise their own million dollars uh, to chip in uh, into the whole pot of funds needed to buy those lands. Uh, if Salt Spring Island is a model of what can happen, uh, basically Island Timberlands needs to agree to sell at the appraised value, not uh, overinflated values uh, of the lands that the locals want to see protected. Uh, old growth forests, sensitive ecosystems, uh, mature second growth forests that can become old growth uh, and to ensure that if there's any logging then it's in line with community values. Uh, at the same time the government needs to kick in money, different levels of government, especially the provincial government, to uh, purchase uh, the priority lands for protection. The eastern side of Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands uh, have largely been logged over and there's not a lot of old growth forest left. There's literally about 1% of the dry maritime uh, forest left, 1% of the old growth Douglas firs left uh, here on the coast and there are significant groves, not just an individual veteran old growth Douglas firs or even small clusters, but whole stands of old growth Douglas firs here. That is provincially significant. It's incredibly rare to have groves of old growth Douglas firs uh, on eastern Vancouver Island and in the Gulf Islands in these dry maritime forests. So this is uh, a high priority area for uh, conservation and for protection. And uh, I've also met a lot of very determined local people, and there's a lot of them here who don't want to see uh, large-scale clear-cut logging going on here.